guys welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing really well so today i am going to be showing you how to achieve this fall inspired look i originally was going to film my ariana grande inspired makeup tutorial as the video that will be going up before this is the hair but i decided that since this look got so many likes and comments on instagram i would do this for you guys because i know that it is fall or fall is coming for all you american beauties so i thought i would do this for you guys today and yeah this will be a talk through so i hope you enjoy it and i will talk to you later bye so i've already prepped my skin i used my kills ultra hydrating moisturizer and my mac strobe cream just on the point of my face that i want to highlight and give that dewy effect to and I'm going to go ahead now and prep my eyelids with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20. So for eyeshadows today, I'm going to start off by taking the Morphe Brushes 35N palette, which is pretty much all neutrals. And I'm going to start off by taking this light brown color, which is the third brown in the second row. And I'm taking that on a Sigma Tape Blending A40 brush. And just going to blend that through my crease. So I'm then going to be taking the Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm going to start off by taking the color top and also blend that through my crease with my Sigma E40 taper blending brush. So taking my Makeup Geek Stiff Dome Brush, I'm going to grab the color Sable, also from the Lorac Pro Palette, and apply that into the socket of my eye. Don't worry too much about getting it precise right now. We're going to go back with our E40 blending brush when we're done applying it. So yeah, just take the E40 and run it through your crease in circular motions. So also from the Lorac Pro Palette, I'm going to take the color LT Bronze and just apply that to my lid with my finger in padding motions. I love using my finger for things like this because you get the best color payoff and a lot less fallout than you would get when using a brush. So with this Morphe S26 brush, I'm going to go back into my Morphe 35N palette and grab the lightest color, which is the first color in the palette, and I'm going to apply that to my brow bone for a highlight. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm just going to grab that color and apply it with my finger. So we're going to start creating a wing. I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek Immortal Gel Liner as always. And this time I will be using my Morphe M217 Bend Liner Brush. With our eyeliner today, we want it to be really long and dramatic. And also we kind of want to bring it in to a sort of point in the inner corner. It's so hard for me to like stay inside the viewfinder.
So you should be left with something like this. Feel free to cater it to whatever you prefer. You don't have to do it so long and dramatic. You can make it a little bit smaller and a lot more wearable, but it's completely up to you. I just felt like winging it out a little bit longer and more dramatic because I have almond shaped eyes and I like to kind of make them look a lot longer. You feeling me? So now that the eyeliner is done, I'm going to go back into my Lorac Pro palette and take the color espresso and apply that to the outer corners of my eye. And we're going to do this very lightly, we don't want this to be too dark. So I'm just going to leave the eyes at that for now and I'm going to move on to my face. For my foundation, I'm going to be using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and I'm just going to apply that using my Beauty Blender, which is really dirty right now. This needs to be cleaned. So now I'm just going to conceal my under eye circles. Okay. So now I'm just going to correct and conceal my under eye circles and highlight my face. For that, as always, I'll be using my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Bisque. And for concealer and highlighting, I'll be using my MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in Light Boost. And I always apply my Bobbi Brown Corrector with my finger. As the heat in my finger emulsifies the product, and makes it a lot easier to apply. And it doesn't crease as much when I do that either. And I just use a beauty blender to blend that in. And do you see the difference in that? I'm not too sure if it shows up on camera, but the difference I am seeing in my under eyes right now is pretty insane. Like my dark circles are pretty much hidden. And my dark circles are pretty bad. Like. I haven't been getting that much sleep lately, so this baby is a lifesaver. <laughs> I'm not too sure how I feel about this highlighter just yet. I just, I'm not a fan of the brush applicator. It's not very hygienic. But it seems to cover and highlight pretty well. I don't know. Do you guys like it? How do you feel about these Prep and Prime highlighters? I also have the um, Radiant Rose, I think it's called. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of these. So I'm just going to set that all in place using my Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder and my Sigma F86 Kabuki Brush. I love using this to set my concealer because it gets right underneath into all those tight places. I am now going to curl my lashes and apply my mascara and lashes. As always, I'll be using my Maybelline One by One Volume Express and my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. But I have heard a rumor apparently the One by One Volume Express is discontinued. I would actually be really, really annoyed if it was. Because, ah, they're stuck. Because it's seriously my best, like my favorite mascara to use. No other mascara by Maybelline has really compared. Like out of the drugstore, I think Maybelline has probably the best mascaras, but this one by far is my favorite. I've had this for ages. I've been meaning to get a new one, but somebody commented on one of my previous videos and she's like, it's discontinued. And then I kind of just sat there and was like, you've got to be kidding me. So now I'm just going to apply my lashes. These are my absolute favorite lashes of all time. They are the Star Naomi by Lena Lashes. And yeah, I'm just going to pop those on. If you guys are interested in purchasing the sum, I do have a coupon code down below, which you can use if you're interested. And 
And lastly for the eyes, I'll be applying my NARS eyeliner in the shade Rue Bonaparte, just to my waterline. Instead of just using a white, I like to use a kind of a beigey skin tone. I just find it less kinder in your face, if you know what I mean. Because you know sometimes when you wear a white eyeliner, it's very noticeable and sometimes it can look a little bit weird. I use a kind of like flesh toned one because it still opens up your eye but just doesn't look as kind of in your face. So moving on to my cheeks, I'm going to be taking my NARS Laguna Bronzer with my Ferlis Cosmetics MF1 brush. This is my absolute favourite brush for bronzer. It just gets in there and blends in really, really well. I'm just going to take that Laguna and just apply it to the hollows of my cheeks and up to my temples and around my face. Around my jawline, I was meant to say. So for blush, I'm going to be using my new favourite. This is the new Marjorette blush by Benefit. You guys know I love my orange shades, so it comes as no surprise that I am loving this. It smells amazing as well. It is just gorgeous. It is the new kind of formula. It is a cream to powder blush and it hits counters on the 20th of September. So when you see this, definitely swatch it, play with it, pick it up, you'll love it. It's just amazing. And I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks using my Hair and Makeup Addiction, the blusher brush. And literally, like when I read cream to powder blush, I didn't expect it to kind of come out the way it did. Like it's clearly a cream in the packaging, but like when you swatch it, it's powder and it's literally the most I don't know it's just so pretty and to highlight my face I'm going to be using my new favorite thing of life I'm taking the Stila in the light palette and taking the eyeshadow color kitten I seriously wish they made this in like a big single pot because it is just to die for. I mean, I don't even know if they do or not. Do they? Don't they? If they do, please tell me and I like, I need this in my life. Because I'm scared that when that little eyeshadow runs out, I'm not going to have any more kitten and I'll have to buy a new palette, but that's that. Oh, by the way, I'm applying that with my Furless MF3 angled contour brush. I do get a lot that I put too much highlighter on, but each to their own, I absolutely love overdosing on my glow. So now I'm just going to move on to my lips. I am taking my MAC Night Moth Lip Pencil, and then on top of that, I'm going to apply my Shanghai Suzy Lipstick in the shade Miss Kitty Black Plum. I still haven't gotten over the scent of these lipsticks. Ugh. No. If you own one of these, or if you're thinking of buying one, just buy one, any random color, and just sit there and smell it. It's honestly ugh, to die for. And personally, when wearing dark lipstick, I feel like you always have to kind of clean up the edges with some foundation just to make it look a lot neater and sharper because sometimes the edges, I don't know if you can tell on the side, but they look a little bit blurry and kind of smudged. So cleaning that up would also, not only, would not only make it look neater, but it would also kind of, I find gives your lips that kind of perfect plump shape. So I'm using my Hair and Makeup Edition, the shader brush. I always use this for cleaning up any type of smudge on my lips or anything. So 
so this is the finished look thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully learned something new today if you did enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up that would mean the world and also if you do end up recreating this look please tag me on instagram or send me a tweet hashtag heidi makeup artist and i will definitely see it and check it out i'm always checking my hashtag hashtag and i love seeing your recreations it just it makes my day i absolutely love seeing them so yeah definitely send me those and yeah and i do know i say and yeah a lot i can't help it it's just a subliminal thing for me it's i guess and yeah is my replacement for saying um I'm not too sure but i do like editing i always like listen to what i'm saying and i'm just like I say that a lot, but I don't realize it until I'm doing like these slow talking parts. But yeah, it gets on my nerves. I'm sorry if it gets on yours, but I just cannot help it. I have to think of another word to substitute for. So yeah, <laughs> sorry guys, but I will see you in my next video and take care. Bye.